On this episode, I am giving you three tips if you are selling your house and buying your house at the same time. Coming up. Welcome, I am your host, Steve Pinate, real turn host of the Steve Talks Real Estate Show where we bring you value, content, and tips in all things real estate and housing related. So on this episode, I am going to be talking to you about selling your house and buying your house at the same time. It's a question that is frequently asked, how is it possible and how does it work? Selling your house and buying one at the exact same time. Now, some of you are able to qualify for two loans, but the majority of people usually have to sell their house before they can buy their next one. And oftentimes it happens on the exact same day. So even though real estate agents strive for a smooth transaction, the reality is is that oftentimes it could be a little bit tricky. What it looks like is you as the seller are putting in an offer on another house as the buyer contingent on your house selling. With that said, here are three tips if you are planning on selling your house and buying one at the same time. Number one, you have to understand the markets, both the selling market, the market you are selling your house in, and the buying market, the market you want to buy into. Now, sitting down with your real estate agent, both you and he or she should be planning out what it could possibly look like. For example, will your house sell in a week or will it sell in three months? Now, even though your real estate agent probably doesn't have a crystal ball, none of us do, but we can gauge or give you a ballpark figure of how the market is responding to houses in the neighborhood your house is currently selling in. That can give you a picture of what you could encounter. At the same time, you have to pay attention to the buying market, the market you are buying into. Are there houses being put up for sale that are possibly houses you want to be buying? You have to make sure that you are paying attention to both market, the selling market and the buying market. And both you and your real estate agent get together and make a plan with some contingencies around it because you just never know what it's gonna look like and plan accordingly. Number two, don't start looking at houses until the house you are selling is under contract. You as the buyer are going to be putting an offer in contingent on your house selling. Therefore, who wants to accept your offer if your house that you're selling isn't even under contract yet? Therefore, what ends up happening is this, emotions get affected. And what I mean by that is this, if you start looking at houses without being ready to put a solid offer in on a house, you are gonna see a house, fall in love with it, and guess what, you can't buy it yet. And all of a sudden, you are gonna be let down, you are gonna get frustrated, and you and your real estate agent could begin to clash simply because you weren't patient enough to wait and look accordingly once you were ready to start that house search. So what do you do? Well, you keep your eye out, okay? Keep looking at houses on the portal your agent has set you up on. Keep looking at houses on the internet, on the apps you are using, just to get a ballpark figure of what's out there, what's coming on the market. And whenever you are ready to start looking, go at it with everything you have. And finally, number three, plan for emergencies. Look at this, you are selling your house and you are buying one at the exact same time. There are a lot of things that could go wrong. In that transaction, there are many parties involved. For example, you as a seller, the individual or family buying your house, the title company, the buyer's lender. On the other side, you as the buyer, there's a seller. That seller could be buying another house. Things can easily domino all the way through with so many aspects involved in this 
transaction. And for example, let's say you put your house on the market and in two days, the house goes under contract because everybody wants to buy the house you're selling. All of a sudden, you are found in a frenzy trying to find the house you want to buy and you can't get to it that quickly. What are you going to do? Well, you plan accordingly. What happens if you can't find that house you want to buy yet? Is there a place you can go to, possibly a family member or a friend's place? Can you rent the house back from the people buying the house from you to buy you time in the process while you are buying your house? Is there a way you can ask for a extended escrow or more time to close on the house you're selling because you have to still find the house you want. There are a lot of factors that come into play. So I want to encourage you. The process can get sticky and real estate agents strive to make this as smooth as possible. We really do. We want to close on these houses as well. Therefore, make sure you and your real estate agent are on the same page. Plan for emergencies, have a plan B in place and possibly a plan C and above everything else, make sure you keep in communication with all parties so that when hiccups come and they could come, you are at peace knowing that you knew what you were getting yourself into. Well, that wraps up episode 59 of the Steve Talks Real Estate Show. Don't forget to subscribe. I have so much content and value for you waiting on my YouTube channel. Check it out, subscribe to it, share it with your friends and your family. Keep sending in your questions and I will do my best to keep answering them. We'll see you next time.